Good afternoon, this is BBC News School Report. I'm Matthew. And I'm Maria. Today's headlines. New buildings and sports facilities for Newbridge Integrated College. Anti-bullying mural causes a stir. John Couture, we take a look at an award-winning piece of art. Young enterprise success at Newbridge, but more on that later. First, we take a look at the construction work underway at this very moment as Newbridge prepares for major improvements. The college recently received the news that they had been awarded a grant to allow them to expand and improve the facilities at the college. Work on a new library, new classrooms and sports facilities has already begun. We now go to Gary to find out more. Thank you. So Mr Walker, I want to ask you first about the wide range of sports that are offered at Newbridge at Newbridge College. Well, firstly Guy, I'm delighted we are able to offer a range of sports from football, athletics, cross country, golf to all our students, especially our boys and our girls. It's important that we sort of have both sides covered, but not only that we cover a range of sports that cover both sides of the community, both Gaelic games and non-Gaelic games, like rugby and athletics, cover, for, really, for me cover both. Can you tell us a bit about the new facilities and what they all mean for Newbridge? Well guys, you can see going up behind the start of the building work, it's brilliant. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the new facilities we're going to get. We have a new sports hall coming, uh, hopefully by May 2016, uh, which will give us the opportunity to, buy, to really extend our range of facilities that are available to our students here. That will give us an extra indoor facility, as well as the one we have upstairs. But also included that, to my left, will be the grass pitches, which hopefully we get a new 3G tennis court and a new all-weather pitch, which again can only extend the, the range of facilities we have available, which means I can extend the range of activities. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Mr Walker. Pleasure, Gary. A very exciting project indeed. Yes, Maria, and I believe another very exciting project is underway at Newbridge. Yes, on Monday of this week, Newbridge Integrated College hosted a visit from the Diana Award staff and their award-winning anti-bullying ambassadors were filmed. Only four schools in Ireland were selected and Newbridge Integrated College is the only school in Northern Ireland to have been successful. Let's find out why. Hello Tara, thank you for joining us. So you're a head girl here at Newbridge. I am your head girl, yes. That's right. <laughs> So tell us, Tara, how did you get involved with the project? Um, the project came about with the anti-bullying ambassadors and really what to make the big push for um, raising awareness around the subject of anti-bullying. And that basically led us on to creating this mural that we have now. <laughs> so what exactly does the role of an anti-bullying ambassador involve? It's really, um, it's, it's letting kids become more aware of their surroundings and social issues within the school. And it's really trying to, it's trying to let you help people and it's trying to let other people be aware that there is help. So it does, it is quite an awful lot, you know, we've done duties, and um, we've done this mural, and we do a lot of training and things like that there to keep it going, so it does quite a lot. So how did the film that took place on Monday come about? Um, we were all trained, the whole Antibody and Ambassador um, team, they were all trained by the Diana Award. Um, and it is an anti-body and ambassador program. Uh, so they have come to our school today for the award. They brought Jordan O'Keefe with them from Britain's Got Talent, which caused an awful stir. And it was a really brilliant day. So I think we got a lot done. There's interviews and David Simpson, an MEP, he came about um, to talk about his anti-body and film. And yeah, it, it just has created loads of awards, which is great. So um, thank you very much, Ty. It's really happy to speak to you. So be back to the studio. <laughs> A year 13 pupil Megan has created a fascinating and unusual piece of art. The premise of the junk couture competition was to create a piece of clothing using recycled materials. It was the dress, the hydrangea mania, that Megan both designed and created herself that caught the eye of the voters. Hi Megan, congratulations first of all. Tell us a bit about your project. Hello, uh, I decided for my art scene that I would be doing flowers and nature and I decided that buy a magazine cut out to make this dress out of dried flowers and recycled material. Can you explain a bit about your competition for us? What does it involve? It involves to promote reducing and recycling and you make accessories and dresses and I've incorporated the Newbridge colours into mine for the competition. Good to see you all. Well, as you know, one team has yet to be revealed as the Northern finalists for Junk Couture. And I am here with our lovely representatives from the Bank of Ireland, who have the golden ticket wild cards. Two hands to one lucky team. Are you ready to hear who it is? Yes! yes. The team going to the grand final in the Borgosh Energy Theatre on May 2nd is... Hydrangea Mania. <laughs> How do you 
feel having just received some great news. Tell us a bit about what you've just been told and what it means for you. I have been told that I am going to the All-Ireland Final to represent Newbridge in the Drunk Trail competition and I cannot wait. I'm so over the moon. Fantastic. Now we hand over to Lee who will update us on all the recent sporting activities going on throughout Newbridge. Thank you, Matthew and Maria. Today's sports news. Successful show jumping at Meadows Equestrian Centre on Monday the 17th of March. Students Maya, Indy, Gemma, Conal, Hannah and Rachel were all involved. The novice team finished on four faults. Also, Maya and Horse Lily and Indy on Glovemore Prince finished on four faults in the novice individual, while Rachel on Sir Barnabas and Gemma on this Nefara lady completed successful rounds on their young horses. And now for the latest football news. Newbridge on their 16 team competed in the highly eventful final of the South Down Cup against local rivals Tremor High School on Thursday the 13th of March. With Tremor ahead 2-1 in the final moments of the game, a controversial free kick from Newbridge player Ross sent the game into unexpected extra time. When the Tremor centre half was fouled yards outside his own box by the Newbridge player, normal procedure would have meant that the Newbridge player returned the ball to Tremor's possession. Ross, however, overcome by adrenaline, took the matter into his own hands and shot past the helpless Dremore keeper and forced the game into extra time. In keeping with acceptable sporting behaviour, team coach Mr Walker encouraged the team to make a hard decision and walk the ball back to their own net to give Dremore their goal back. After a courageous 30 minutes of extra time, Fichty went to local rivals Dremore with a scoreline of 4 goals to 2. It was a tough game which ultimately showed the perseverance and dedication of all involved. You're probably disappointed whenever Dremore scored for the second time. Did you think it was all over? Not really, no. Um, I thought we still had a chance left, you know. Um, it was, it, the game wasn't late in the game. It was, there was still a lot of time left and um, my main focus was trying to get the team going again. Um, but thankfully, Lee Close, he scored a, a goal to get us back into it. Yeah, it was definitely a tough contested game. Can you take us through what happened and why you didn't win? Uh, to be honest, I thought we were the better team. On the well, we played the better football, or at least tried to play the football. But they pressurised us on the ball, which means it was hard to play football and we need to play quick. But then they took their chances, which we couldn't do. So they got their goals and brought them to nil up going into half time. We got the boys back around half time and started to sort them out again. We got back playing football. I myself got a goal back, brought us back in the game two one. We thought then we would fight on and get another goal, but then we had the controversy of a pass back which was scored. But on other days it would be different, but because it was a final there was so much expectation on us. And then uh, for their third goal we had to walk it back in the net. So And then went to the extra time, their fourth goal came from a silly free kick that shouldn't have been there and they scored from it. That was it. Thank you very much, sir. Well, so what was your mindset after you had scored the goal? Um, after I had scored the goal, it was just an initial rush of adrenaline. I wasn't really thinking much. I was just celebrating and yeah, I, the only reason why I did it was because to, to get us back in the game. And when it, I wasn't really thinking much, that's all I planned, just to get us back in the game, make it 2-2. But after the incident, I was being give a bit of grief, but that's football, and I just did what I had to, what I thought was best for our team. Thank you very much, Ross. It's been a busy few weeks indeed. Let's have a look back at all the recent sporting activities going on in the school. It's hard to imagine that with the new facilities, the school will be able to offer even more. Back to you, Matthew and Maria. There certainly is a lot going on in Newbridge, isn't there, Matthew? Yes, on top of that, Maria, the Young Enterprise Company have had success both home and abroad. The students enjoyed success at 
Rushmere Trade Show winning two awards, Best Product and Best Company Runner-Up. Representatives from the company have been selected to travel to Latvia to participate in the International Company Programme Trade Show. Hello Vivian, you recently had success at the Rushmere Trade Show. Can you tell us a little bit about, tell us what you won? Our company was really successful. Um, it was really busy at the trade fair and there was a lot of schools, so it was really competitive. Um, but at the end of the day, we won two products, the best product um, and the best company runner-up. So it was really good. Tell us a bit about the product you'll be taking to Latvia with you. Uh, the product we're going to be taking to Latvia will be the Bag of Life. Um, basically, we designed the bag with a lot of the first year's names on it. Uh, it's like a foam, basically to represent the school. Also, not all of us are going to go to Lafayette. The, only a few people are just going to go to Lafayette to represent our bags there and see the ideas over there. How did you come up with the initial idea? Well, after that 5p charge for plastic bags, we thought it would be good to make eco-friendly bags and it would tie in with the Eagles, Eagle Club in school. Um, we thought we would make something practical for people to use and if anyone would like to get one, they can contact New Virginia College. Thank you very much Vivian and James. We wish you and the Young Enterprise Company all the success in Lafayette. Thank you. Thank you James. That's it for this afternoon. Many thanks to all our reporters and those interviewed. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. And goodbye, goodbye from, from Newbridge Integrated College. College.